congratulations on a tough game today. A person who I call the MVP of the, of the game, offensive player of the game. Let's talk about, man, the explosiveness you had out there today. You know, I've been doing this since I was a little kid, you know. It's expected of me, you know, I came in masculine, you know, they expect me to be a runner, and I had to give it my own team, you know, one of the team. Right now. They were down, they were down, when you were down for early 14 nothing. you came in, you had a big explosive play. Just talk about that big run, that first big run that you had for the 65 yard for a touchdown. All week we were talking about making big plays, you know, setting the tone. So, you know, I had to take that and I had to apply that to the field, you know, I had to, I had to uh, bring the team up and that's what really got us rolling. To be able to get a win like this over a powerhouse from a different state, what does it say about Matt, not only Matt, but what does it say about this group of young men, group of young men that you surround with? You know, it shows, it shows that we, need, we are getting put on the map, you know. It's, uh, we have a great team, you know, we've been working all summer for this, and it's expected for us to go out there and win. All right, man, congratulations again on the big game, man. We'll be seeing much more from you in the future. Thank you, sir. Congratulations on, on the tough win against a, an opponent that you know, a lot of teams aren't very familiar with, a lot of Ohio teams aren't familiar with. Just talk about, you know, first of all, the feeling that, that you're going through going into this game. Uh, first of all, I, I knew it was a big game, like, all we prepared for it. We just, it was like, I don't know, I was ready. But the work in, we're ready. Coming out early, our dogs will play fast, they play sound, you know, they got a couple big plays, big trick plays on you guys. What did you, what, what was, what was said to you guys, what did you guys do right after the line? Just, to, just to lock in and do your job, like, don't do too much, do your job. You, you were on the fortunate uh, end of the, 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 the interception, man. Talk about that for a second. Uh, I saw it come across the middle. I tried to jump it. The ball came right to me, so. Catch it. Take it as far as I can. I got some back at the end, though. So. <laughs> One and those, man. Yeah. Just talk about you know, how you how you plan on taking this. How you plan on taking this game on to the next on to it, the uh, next. Game by game, like uh, next week we got Glen Oak. Let's go game by game. Uh, don't don't look ahead. Just game by game. All right, man. Congratulations again on the tough win, man. Thank we'll be seeing more from you. So here we go. So here we go. 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 Here Defensive tackles lining up against us. We were going hard every single play just to prepare for them, and then we were very prepared for them. And you guys saw what happened. As as you, got, you, guys were, you guys were able to create some big holes. For, for, for the quarterback and your running backs tonight. Just talk about just going to that, man. Just talk about you know, the continuity on the line with yourself and other guys, how you're just able to just you know, play bully ball. Tonight. Yeah, so basically, our my, uh, motto is do your job and then we'll see what happens. If you do your job to the best of your ability, you're going to put up 300 rushing yards. <laughs> man, um, when, when did you first notice that when you guys were starting to lean on them in the second half that your off-season conditioning really started to come into play where you guys kind of feel you, you, you had the leverage for the second so half? It started end of the second quarter. Really, yeah. they were gassed. You could just feel it. Yeah. Puffing and puffing every play. I mean, um, I, I, think, I think they've really got to go in the right direction. I think Scott Garcia's a tremendous football coach, and, and we've got a work cut out for us. You know, you didn't, you know, set out there with losing opener, obviously, but there's a difference between winning and losing. Even if you do lose an opener against a really strong opponent, last year's example being more of a you know, what's, uh, How much, uh, you know, what, what is the difference between, uh, how, how can you elaborate on what the difference is other than the obvious of winning an opener or losing an opener? I mean, I, I think I think that it really probably is what it is. I mean, you know, once once we get to, to week ten, or maybe and in some degrees the second half of the season, you know, things kind of change as far as where you're at in the process. Right now, we're at the very beginning, and so and so we're all we're all trying to figure things out together. I mean, we have a plan, but 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 we're still working out. Uh, uh, different things. The players are still learning, you know, exactly how to do this and, 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 and to do those things under duress, 
under the lights, in front of a crowd, it's great. All those things are different, so it's, it's all part of the process at this point. So, you know, you, you want to win them all. You definitely want to start off the season with the win. Uh, but, uh, you know, if, if, if you lose against a great opponent and, and you know, you would say you lose well, um, there's, a, there's a lot that you still have going for you at that point. Overall, how well